today's class, everyone, we're actually going to be going into another area of poetry called, of genre, called the Where I'm From poem. This poem is based on memories, it's very personal, it's very much into a look into every other author's mind. I'm going to give you out your notes now, and then we're going to go from there. It is a genre, it is a type of poem. It has a sort of formula that goes along with it. Um, and we'll get into that near the end of the class as well. It's a, it's a formula for writing the poem, but it's not a strict formula. You can deviate or you can, you can use the formula as you see it um, and sort of fill in the blank with um, details, or you can just go off the basis of the, um, the theme of where I'm from and use your own details <coughs> to uh, fill it in. So you'll see that in a couple of examples we give you. So I'm just going to read you guys an example. So um, this is just, we're going to look more in depth at the form and stuff um, in an activity we do later, but we're just going to, I just want you to like maybe close your eyes, picture this. Um, just get a sense of what it what it feels like when you hear this, okay? Where I'm from by George Ella I'm sorry, George Ella Lyon. I am from Colston, from Korok and Carbon Tetrachloride. I'm from the dirt under the back porch. Black, glistening, it tasted like beef. I am from the Forsythia bush, the Dutch elm, whose long gone limbs I remember as if they were my own. I am from fudge and eyeglasses, from Imogene and Alifair. I'm from the know-it-alls and the pass it on, from perk up and pipe down. I'm from he restores my soul with a cotton ball lamb and 10 verses I can say myself. I am from Artemis and Billy's branch, fried corn and strong coffee. From the finger my grandfather lost to the Audrey, to the eye my father shut to keep his sight. Under my bed was a dress box filling old pic pictures of sisters lost faces to drift beneath my dreams. I am from those moments, snap before I budded, leaf fall from the famine tree. All right, as a further depth into the where I'm from home, we're actually going to have a gallery walk, which is we are going to have split the class in two, go to the different examples of where I'm from poems off to the side. We're going to read them as a group, and then we're going to write down information on the papers and your responses. I want any explicit memories you have that ties to them or any other examples you can think of. So what I want first is actually everyone out of their chairs. Thank you, Dr. Evans. Write down some responses you have to the poem, what you're interested in, what you think of when you when I read it aloud, and if you need to, you can read it These houses confuse puppy and painted pictures of places and people that I will never know. Anywhere on the paper. Anywhere on the paper. have them draw some of the images in the poem. All so right, yeah, the that'll work. Okay, maybe you guys could just pick an details. image that you, you see. Draw. And red. don't worry I too have. much about um, drawing it exactly as you, think, oh, as you think the author pictured it. Maybe sort of draw your interpretation of what the image would look like in your head. All right, there you go. Um, just to give them more things to respond to. Okay. You can add that down to your brain. We actually will be doing a brainstorm where you think about certain things that you want to add to yours. You can always add that um, what are you drawing, Megan? That's the, the old back in the house. 
Oh, of the suburb? Yeah, like like on the I like that idea. I love that because that it makes you think of a suburb because of the little call this that. Maybe we should label these so they know. Okay. Does mine not look like a tree? No, it does. <laughs> Just because I was not thinking. Like a tree. I was more it's thinking of like ten cap tree. I was more thinking. I don't know if they know that was. Yeah. Well, how would I make it? Would I put tree? Maybe we could just say. How about this? How about this? Maybe, maybe <laughs> you could write um, last line or something yeah, next to it, and then you could write. Can I draw? Let's draw this compass. So fourth stanza. Um, first and second <laughs> lines. Maybe we could say. Yeah. Can I draw? Can I draw a straw line from it? Maybe. Yeah, you could do that too. These are your sheets, so I mean, I'm not too particular on how you show it. Can I number the stages? Yeah. Maybe if I make the house, that's a good idea. Like, have roof, it'll look more like. Okay. So what we're, what we're gonna do with this one is a little okay. different. Before <coughs> we <coughs> simply <coughs> respond to the column. Yeah, I agree. We're also going to take into consideration yeah. what they added, like why yeah. they've underlined or moved yeah. the images or over. And like respond to them as well. Do their interpretations fit with what you're thinking? But how do we know it's slow? Well, because it says fast, but. Oh, okay. So small to fast. But it's not small. But it's not fast. But it's not a triangle. And just pulls it closed. And so they have this here. You think this is an attempt at answering? But then how does this, or is this just a response? <laughs> to They're too far away. Too far away? Okay. Right on the knob. Right the Reese's Cups is up here, the bite on the knob stuff. I want to write some of the things that, um, some of the questions you had, or some of the things that stuck out to you about this poem. Okay. Where am I supposed to write it? Um, Why does everybody realize it's the here. highest stress? We're up here. here. Or you yeah, can draw some pictures. Um,
think that the high mortgages and high stress could maybe is that because there's always been high, um, high mortgages and not enough money to pay the bills. Maybe that's how it could feel like it's in their genes. Let's look at well, let's look at the answers. Who who answered this question? Okay, Alex. So you said people might be inclined to worry based on their lineage. I agree with that. Um, well, then what does lineage have to do with mortgages? Um, I think that well, if you go go ahead, well, Alex. Sorry. Have, no, go for okay. it. Well, it's like families are stuck in the suburbs for generations, and then they feel like they have to stay in the suburbs, and they have the mortgages that they go along with being in the suburbs. And then if like the father has a son who then wants to pay for his mortgage, then that would be like the generational thing. We just to su summarize it, I think that's true. I think that um, a lot of times your um, familial um, situations, as far as money and class go, can um, carry down into like the mind, your own mindset into generations. I think it's n more so the... Um, so it's like you start, you as the child may start stressing about the similar parents things stressing. about your parents, what your parents worry about, kind of thing. It, you start getting on um, their sort of... The person is trying to say that the stress um, is influenced by their family or by um, their environment, and that's why it feels as if it's in their blood. Um, can you guys think of any, to, to twist that, can you guys think of any positive things that your parents are like that, that you maybe have? Sure, Megan. Well, my mom um, likes to sing, and so do I. Oh, okay. that's a good example. Yeah, exactly. Um, Liz? My mom likes to bake really delicious things. Okay, so could you ever picture yourself saying baking's in your blood? Yes. Yes, okay. I ate three pounds of my breakfast. You did? <laughs> Where right. the, where's our bread? Yeah, why don't you share? I ate them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, next time. Um, so basically, what should we, should we talk about? Maybe they're drawing. Well, for time's sake for our class, we probably should get going on our own brainstorming. Okay. okay. Um, what we're going to have you guys do now is take a few minutes to write down things that you may want to write about in your own poems. We're going to give you some copies of these poems. So if you get stuff, don't get too caught up on the, um, the format of these poems because it's more about the details and the images you use in the poem. So we're going <coughs> to give you a copy of these to go off of. Um, just so it can try and spark some of your own um, images to write about. But take a few minutes, write down your own memories that you have that you may want to write about. Guys, if you need some things to think about, a lot of these poems you you smell. So I don't know if you want to take some notes of what what would be okay. But you can use smell. You can use places, um, people, um, food. Um, you could use things in nature. A lot of the both of these poems use um, things in nature with a metaphor, like this. This person said, a black rose in a world of white. And then <coughs> said, roots of our cherry blossom tree to mean a family tree. So you can do <coughs> things like that if you want. You can use family sayings, if you can think of any. There's a baby <laughs> one. Oh. Okay, we're coming down near the end of our time today. Can we trade this? No. Can we write poems for each other? Oh, let's do you it. want to write them for each other? Yeah. Oh. Um, that could be interesting if you use other people's images. Yeah. How about, okay, we'll give you a couple options. Okay. One is you can make a visual poem and you can draw pictures of the things and put them in the format. <coughs> um, the second option could be if you want to trade a list with somebody and make a poem from their list, you can. Or you can keep your list and make your own poem. Okay? So you guys can choose from those three yeah. for, for homework. For homework. Uh,
but we're just starting this. It's just more of still in the, we'll see what works, and if it doesn't work, then we'll go back you know, to the original. You can always go back and adjust. So, all right. All right. Does anybody have any final, final questions, questions about the format? Yeah, Liz? When is your tail? Um, okay, so for homework, you're just going to try and have a rough draft. A rough finish. copy of your poem. Um, just, we're just going to start working um, with that on the next class. Yeah, next class we'll go into using the rough draft and just kind of bouncing the ideas. Back and we'll see back if and we'll see if our ideas to do it differently seem to be working, or if people are running yeah, into rough problems, from there. then we then we'll go then then we'll reevaluate then. Okay. All right. So everyone all set. All right. All right. What? Next class. We'll be doing it next class. All right. So just work on your own rough copy of your first poem.